Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. My name is Aditya and in this video I am going to be showing you how to format and partition your drive on any Linux system. So this is going to be very important if you have a flash drive, if you want to format and use for some other purpose, change the file system maybe, or if you are doing a fresh installation of some um, distributions such as Arch Linux, um, knowledge on form formatting and partitioning your drive becomes very important in those cases also. So you can either use something like a graphical installer or a command line installer, which I'm going to show you today, which is actually very easy. I'm going to be using a utility or a program called FDisk. There are many other uh, programs similar to this. And basically today I'm going to show you how to use this program. And the concepts are pretty much the same. They don't differ. And if you have no idea uh, what formatting and partitioning is or what are the differences, um, I hope this uh, clears up everything. That's my main goal today. So what I'm going to be doing is um, going through um, and um, you know, this is the steps for um, this is one of the steps when installing distribution like Arch. So I basically have downloaded the Arch ISO from their website and I have uh, booted into it um, in a virtual machine. I've used um, um, VirtualBox from Oracle. You can use any other um, virtualization software that you want. And basically, this is the one of the first steps that you need to um, install Arch Linux. I won't be going over the full installation, just the formatting and partitioning part, so that you can use it for any else, anything else that you would need. So I'm going to switch screens into the um, um, the uh, virtual box uh, window where I have the Arch Linux VM running, and so this is just how it looks in the live environment. So what you generally would do is if you're using a program like FDisk, which I'm showing you today, you would list the uh, available disks available, uh, available for you. So this is your hard disk, your SSDs, or solid state drives, anything that's attached. So when you do this, you can um, 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 you know, exclude anything that has the words loop, for example. So I created this uh, virtual machine just with one hard drive, but I can see the second one is showing up uh, slash dev slash loop zero. This is a loopback device and we can just ignore this. And you have the first one which says slash dev slash STA and it correctly says 20 gigabytes. So if you purchase a hard disk, maybe uh, 500 gigabytes, for example, it might not be exact if it's something like 490, 480. If it's close enough, that should be the one. And you can see under that it says disk model and this should be the make of the hard disk. So if you buy it from Seagate, for example, you might see their name. If it's a flash drive, maybe from SanDisk, you might see the SanDisk's name. So um, identify which disk you want to format and partition properly. Make sure you don't um, confuse them or else you might um, risk um, deleting all your data. So once you decide which disk it is, use the fdisk command again, but for the second argument, type in fdisk and then the name of the disk. So this is slash dev slash sda. So you're not going to know the exact name of the disk unless you run the fdisk uh, with the L flag, which I first did. So once you identify it, then run this command and this takes you into this fdisk prompt. So this is the thing, the reason I actually like this and I don't think it's complicated is even if you're a complete beginner, you can just hit this M um, command for help and it gives you all the um, list of commands. The only thing is you need a prior knowledge on um, how formatting and partitioning actually works, which I'm going to show you anyways today. So the first thing that you need to do is create a partition table. Under this partition table is where you create different partitions and then you can write to the disk and save the changes. That's the basic steps that we're going to follow. Now, when you create a partition table, there are a few different types that you can uh, choose from. You have GPT, you have DOS, those are one of the most popular ones and um, it's completely free to choose from. Now, if you're doing an installation, um, if you have um, quite new hardware, which is using the uh, newer UEFI BIOS, then you probably want GPT partition table, which has up to, I think, 128 partitions um, capable and even the size of the hard disk also uh, matters, I think. So it supports a much larger size. That's definitely recommended if you have uh, supported hardware. But if you have older hardware that only um, supports the legacy BIOS, then you might need to go with the DOS partition table or the MBR scheme. So it's completely up to you. Um, I'm just going to select the DOS partition table. So that's the O command. You can see that at the bottom where the heading says create a new label and hit enter. So now you can see it says created a new DOS disk label and it has some identifier. 
that's all we need to know now what i'm going to do is start creating a partition so you can see under the generic heading there is the end command to add a new partition so that's what we're going to do so we can hit n and hit enter now it's going to ask us what type of partition we can just hit primary that's the default and it's going to ask us the partition number so with the dos partition table we can do four partitions so by default the first one is going to be partition number one hit enter the first sector again is just go with the defaults always the basic principle is when you create your different partitions there's always some space usually there's some space between them so um, it doesn't start at zero here is starting in 2048 so let's just go the default it's recommended to go the default don't try to change the uh, first sector unless you know what you're doing now the last sector defines the size of our partition where it ends so either we can go the default which takes up the entire space so if we just want one partition taking up the entire space of our disk go the default and hit enter or if you want a specific size use the plus symbol and add the number so for example if i want 550 megabytes i would say plus 550 and a capital m for megabytes or if i want gigabytes that's going to be capital g so similarly you can do that and hit enter so now you can see it says created a new partition one of type linux and that's a size 550 megabytes now this type linux is the default type we can change that if we want and i'll show you how to do that later now we created one with a specific size of 550 megabytes let's just do one more so n again p as primary default partition number has become two by default yes that's good the first sector again i'm not going to touch it the last sector maybe let's do one gb this time so capital one uh, sorry plus one capital g that's created a second partition now let's maybe do a third one you know this is just for demonstration purposes p partition number three is good and for sectors default last sector i'm going to hit enter so it's going to take up all the remaining space so that's also done so you can see it says the size is 18.5 gigabytes the entire hard disk had 20 gb 550 megabytes had gone to the first uh, partition 1 gb had gone to the second and now we have 18.5 gb remaining so all this is going good now maybe let's try to change the partition type so i'm going to hit m again for help and you can see that, um, uh, let's see, I think T is for changing the partition type, yeah. So let's hit T. And the partition number we can choose. So we have three partitions. That's why it's not showing one to four, only one to three. We can change the type for one of these three. So maybe we want to change the first type. So hit one. And now it asks us for a hex code or alias, what type we want to actually set. Now it's asking us some kind of code, which we actually don't know. So we can type capital L to list all of them. And you can see a list of partition types that we can choose from. So you have FAT file system, which is um, um, micro, uh, created by Microsoft and that probably has the most compatibility. You have, um, again, in FAT itself, you have FAT12, FAT16, FAT32, FAT64. You have the Linux file systems. You have Linux swap if you're creating a swap partition. So you have so many to choose from. So maybe I want to add a swap uh, partition. So I can see number 82 is for swap. I'm going to hit enter and you can see it changed the type of partition Linux to Linux swap. So this is how you change the partition types also. Now we basically created the partition table, created the partitions under them and also changed the partition type. That's all we need to do. So I'm going to hit M one last time and I'm going to hit W to write to the table, uh, write the table to the disk and save it. So if there's any data is probably going to wipe all the data and it's going to be saved to the disk. So hit W and we're done. So we've done, we've covered formatting and partitioning and it was so simple, we didn't even use a GUI interface all through the command line through this wonderful utility called FDisk. And that's all you need to know. So if you want to um, do an installation such as Arch Linux or if you, all you want to do is maybe format or partition a flash drive, you can do it now. You have the skills necessary to do it. And maybe one last thing I can do is this doesn't necessarily create a file system. It's just the type of partition. So if you want to actually create a file system, you could use the MKFS command. So for example, for the ext4 file system on Linux, which is very popular, ext4, and then the partition, the path to the partition. Now let's do the ftis command with the L flag just to prove it to you that we've actually made the changes. And now again, for the first disk that we can see 20 gigabytes, we can see three partitions, STA1, STA2, and STA3. 
So we can see the start, the end, the sectors, the size, the ID and the type also. So everything has worked exactly like the way we want it. Now for the last point, this is a bonus uh, um, thing that I'm going to show it to you. Um, if you're doing um, something like installing Arch Linux, where you need to actually create the file system, you can do mkfs.ext4 slash dev slash sta maybe three, the third partition that we created. And this is going to create our file system, the ext4 file system on sta3. Maybe you want to create a FAT file system, so FAT and specifically FAT32. So that's with an F flag, 32, and then slash dev slash sta, maybe the second partition. So that's that creates the FAT file system on the second partition. So we've done everything. We've done the uh, creation of the partition tables, the actual partition, changing the partition type, and creating a file system on the partition. So I hope this video has been comprehensive and has helped you. Um, if you have any questions, you can uh, feel free to uh, leave it in the comment section or if you want to contact me on uh, Twitter or my, through email, that's also possible. And if you have any suggestions, feedback or you want to see something in future videos, please let me know about that too and I'll be sure to respond. So um, once again, uh, thank you for watching.